Hi guys, so I took you guys along with me to Aldi several weeks ago to show you what I buy for the dogs for meal prep. So now I'm gonna show you how I put it all together. Um, this is a pretty quick video, um, but I just kinda wanna show you guys how I do it um, and get it stored for them because like I shared in the video, I shop for about two weeks at a time and I just um, prep it and then pack it in the freezer and then pull out like a day or two at a time and put that in the fridge so it's ready to go for them. Um, what I like to do is I buy just, you know, Ziploc bags, um, the sandwich bags to store this in. And um, I buy the beef and chicken that you guys saw that we got at Aldi's. We have our green beans, we have our sweet potatoes. Now the sweet potatoes, what I do on those is I don't cook them completely through. I throw them all in a pan and I cook them at 400 degrees for about usually 20 minutes or so, 20 to 30 minutes max because I don't want them super mushy, um, but I also don't want them really, really um, hard. So I just kind of like to half cook them so they're you know, a little bit softer for the dogs. And then like I said, the green beans that we got um, are just like the chopped green beans. It's easier for the dogs to digest that way. Um, we can break them down easier. And then for the beef and the chicken, I actually cooked that all in one. This is just a colander because I drained out any of the fat from the beef. Um, because it was like swimming in it when it's done because if you remember we get a high fat beef content um, for the dogs because it's more they eat more of like a ketogenic diet i only add a little bit of the sweet potato in as like a binder so when they go to the bathroom outside it's a little bit more solid um, and if you you know pick up your dog's poo you'll appreciate it um, so the way i cook the um the chicken and the beef i just literally just fill it all in a crock pot at night or you can do it early in the day whatever you want to do i do it at night before bed so it's ready in the morning put it in a crock pot, put the lid on it. I cook it on low for about seven to eight hours. And then when I wake up in the morning, it's done. And then I turn it off and I let it cool down for about 45 minutes. And then I take the crock pot insert out and I put the colander um, in the sink with like a bucket underneath it to catch the grease so it doesn't just all go down the drain. And then I dump it out, drain that out. And then I just put it on the colander. It's sitting on a plate right now for any little drippings that may um, still need to come out. The green beans, I don't cook. These are frozen. Um, they're partially thawed now, but you can just bag them up, froze them. You're gonna freeze the stuff anyway. So there's no point in cooking them or thawing them out or anything like that. You're just going to basically take frozen and store it in frozen. So sorry for the dogs barking. They know I'm doing this video and they're not happy. So, and then um, the sweet potatoes, you can tell I just cubed up, um, just a little bite-sized pieces. And I only put a little bit in the bags. Now in this big tub here, they're being so loud. So in this big tub here, this is Dinovite, the supplement that they get. You can see it's just like a green powder. It's got a scoop in it. But it's just like a little green powder that they've got in their food for the last four years that I do this. Since all three of our dogs um, eat like this, I make sure that I buy like it in the bulk um, option because when you buy it off of the Dynavite website, um, it's like half the price when you buy it in bulk. So if you have multiple dogs, I'd recommend that um, instead of buying lots of little ones. It does go last a long time though. So it depends on how much storage you have in your house as well. So um, with this, like I said, it comes with a scoop and it says on the box like how much of a scoop to give them if it's like half a scoop for this size dog or full scoop for this size dog, things like that. Um, so you guys can check that out. It's dino, D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com is where I get this at. And their fish oil is great too. You usually get one like that whenever you purchase. It's like a free with purchase type of thing. So you can add fish oil into your dog's diet as well. So um, with this, you can use a food scale if you're new to measuring out your dog's food um, and you got the uh, calculation from me, how to formulate your dog's food, um, the proper breakdown, which I will, there'll be a, you guys can pause the end of this video to see that and get the screenshot of that so you guys can calculate it for your own dog. Now I will mention on that, make sure when you calculate their weight, calculate what their goal weight is. If you want your dog to gain weight, calculate that. If you want them to lose weight, calculate it with that. Or if you want them to maintain the weight, calculate it with that. So when you set that starting weight, make sure you use what their goal weight is to be, or if you want it to be a maintenance weight, use that. So again, check that out at the end of this video, and um, then you guys can measure it all out. So when weighing it, what I do is I only weigh the meat portion out. I don't do it anymore because I've been doing it for four years and I can eyeball um, what the right amount is for the dogs. So you can just weigh it out. And like I said, after a few times of doing this, literally like three or four times, you're gonna know what that portion looks like and you're not gonna have to use a scale anymore. So all I do is I just take my tongs here, I take my Ziploc bag, then I just scoop it in. And the reason I do the beef and the chicken together is so that way you, they get more fat from the beef, but it's not all fat. So for my dog's measurements, I know it's about a third of the way full for the beef, for the proper, or for the meat, for the proper portion. And then the green beans are more of like a filler. So it makes them feel like they're a little bit more full. 
So I just take two tong scoopings of that and fill that in here. And then like I mentioned earlier for the potatoes, I just add just a couple cubes, literally like four or five cubes, just to have some sort of a little binder in there. Then the last step I do is I take a scoop and they get a half a scoop per meal because they eat breakfast and dinner. And then I just scoop that and put it on top here. I just kind of shake it so the powder kind of works through the food so it's not just sitting on top of here. Then you, <laughs> sorry guys about the dog. Then you just seal it closed, get the air out of. And then what I do is I just kind of like flatten it out a little bit and then I will just stack these up. That way in the freezer drawer, I'm able to stack four or five high and several stacks of these. Um, and then when it's time to thaw them out, when they're thinner like this, they thaw out a lot better instead of it being like one big chunk if you were to keep all the food in the bottom like this. And you can do your dog's meal prep. Like I said, I do two weeks. You could do it for a month ahead of time. You could do it for two months. As long as it's in the freezer, it's great. And then um, you can even just, sometimes I'll just throw these bags in the microwave for like 30 minutes just to get the chill out of it so it's not so cold for them. Um, warm it up, put it in their bowls, and they love it. Not only is this a great way to promote better health for your dog, it's a great way for weight management. It helps our dogs with their allergies, um, their alopecia that they have. If you ever notice Otis's side, he's bald and Charlie's got a little strip. Very popular with the bully breed um, and very common. It's seasonal alopecia, so their hair falls out a certain time of the year and it starts to grow back. And then by the time it grows back, it's falling out again because the season has changed. So it's wonderful for that. But then it's also, it's not even that much more expensive than um, you know regular dog food. If you remember on the last video, I believe it was like a dollar four or something like that, a dollar and four cents per meal for these dogs. Um, and the food that we were buying them, it actually is only, this doing it this way is only $2 more expensive a month than it would be to buy the dry dog food. So I highly recommend this method. Again, it's super easy, super quick. Um, and like I said, just put it in the crock pot, throw your potatoes in the oven, chop them up, let it cool down and bag it up. And I can do my dog's meal prep for two weeks. It takes me um, just the bagging portion, maybe an hour, and that's it. So totally well worth it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And then get ready to pause the video so you guys can catch that screenshot at the end of this um, to calculate the proper portion of food for your dog. So thank you so much for watching, guys.